Hello, my name is Stephen Smith, owner of Controllership Solutions LLC and Sundial Virtual Family Office. I'm a QuickBooks and Quicken expert. We are going to discuss Quicken reports, specifically from the register, which is the most detailed, all the way to Quicken's newest dashboard view that gives you a high level overview in a quick, simple snapshot of your spending and finances. Along the way, we'll discuss some of the reports menu and the home view, which is the predecessor to Quicken's dashboard view. Let's get started. This is the Quicken register. This is where you spend most of the time putting in memos, categorizing transactions, in reconciling data. This is the source of all the other information. If this information is not accurate, then the reports will also not be accurate. So it's important to do a really good job of keeping track of these things. If you need a report on a register, the best way is to come over to the gear, down to more reports, and into register reports. This will give you a list of every single transaction going all the way back to the beginning of the time, or you can filter it to just show a certain amount of time for what you need. It can be filtered, it can be customized, it can be sorted, and it can be exported to Excel or to review outside of Quicken. Then there's the reports menu. The reports menu has dozens and dozens of different ways of looking at your data. We're going to focus on about four or five primary reports. First, under the banking section, you've got banking summary and banking transactions. The banking summary provides almost a P&L version of your data. Then there's the transaction detail. Transaction detail is every transaction that makes up that makes up the summary information. I find that by subtotaling by category, you can then jump in and see exactly what makes up the balances. If you need to review, you can review. You can export this, of course, as well as customize report by filtering on account, category, payee, or tag. Advanced features allow you to show or exclude or include transfers, as well as show categories, subcategories, or hide subcategories. If you're looking for balance sheet information, there's two views, both very similar, but slightly different when it comes to the presentation style. Account balances, show you the data in bank accounts, cash accounts, assets, credit cards, and liabilities, basically by type. Alternatively, the net worth statement will break it out into assets versus liabilities, and then account type. Another view is the income and expense by category report, which provides you with some charting, as well as more features to slice and dice the data by month, by quarter, and by account. If you're looking at reports for investments, those come under the investment section. There's capital gains, investment activity, performance, and transactions. If you're trying to get an understanding of what the transactions are and if they're accurate or not, this report allows you to subtotal by category, account, type, and really slice and dice and analyze the data to make sure things are accurate. Now they were brought over correctly from the brokerage into your Quicken file. Garbage in is garbage out, so it's important to keep track and reconcile on a regular basis between your Quicken file and your institutions, whether it be bank, brokerage, or credit card. Once you're happy that your data is accurate and you've been through the details and you're looking to get a better understanding 
or where your money is, how it's doing, and what you've spent it on, then a picture or a chart or a bar chart is the best way. And Quicken does a great job on the home section. By going to the homes page, you'll see a host of different views to look at. You can customize each view and you can choose from a whole bunch of available types and styles of reports to look at for investing, property and debt, planning, tax. I encourage you just to go in, add them to a report, look at them just by adding and then customizing it. Then you can look at where, this, where the reports are and what they mean. You can have multiple different views. So you can have one for investments, one for spending, other purposes such as business. Each, cust each tile can be further customized by date, account, category, and tag. They're also drillable. So if you want to see a full graph, you can, you can look at that. You can look at the detail. And you can drill in wherever you need to. There's reports for spending, portfolio, portfolio versus cost basis, growth of your net work, worth, as well as capital gains, projected taxes based on assumptions, and the growth of $10,000, which is a very powerful feature when you're looking to compare your portfolio and your results against benchmarks and or if you had done nothing using the buy and hold feature, which is one of my favorites. Now, if all of this is a little too much detail for you, then Quicken has newly launched the dashboard. The dashboard is currently just six tiles, but each tile is extremely simple and perfect for quickly digesting your information. For instance, there's your spending. Where have you spent your money? This year, last month, by quarter, and you can check this out and toggle around. There's payees. Who have you paid money to? The government, landscaping companies. This will tell you what your top payments are over the last period of time that you choose to select. Then my favorite, and in my opinion, the most important tile is uncategorized. This means that something has slipped through the cracks and has not been categorized in the register. If this is uncategorized or if this list is long, it means that the rest of the data is not as good as it could be. But by double clicking, you can hyperlink in and then you're able to quickly categorize where those transactions should be, go should be going. And when you return to their view, you'll be all set. This is the view that you should be seeing. Recent transactions served as an early warning fraud detection. If you see unauthorized activity, this is a great way to quickly spot it. If you're trying to keep track on your portfolio, top movers will show up here. And for a, a simple high level view of what your portfolio is doing and what your net worth is doing, uh, here is where you can keep an eye on that. Hope all of these things were helpful. Again, my name is Stephen Smith. I can be reached at quickencoach.com or sundialvfo.com. Thank you.